To begin the Model 600 repair process, first you will want to start by turning off the water supply at an upstream shutoff or at the meter connection. You will then want to depressurize the valve by opening a downstream hose bib or a faucet. If you don't have a pressure gauge downstream of the regulator, you can measure the distance from the top of the adjustment bolt to the bell housing. This will allow you to readjust the valve to the proper outlet pressure after your repair. You can now loosen the lock nut on the adjustment bolt. You will then want to back the adjustment bolt from the bell housing until all the spring tension is removed. Loosen the main cap with a wrench by turning it counterclockwise. Remove the main cap and the washer. You will want to loosen the plunger by turning counterclockwise. Go ahead and remove the plunger, the seal ring, and the metal washer. You will want to remove the old seal ring from the plunger and replace it with a new one from your repair kit. Next, loosen the strainer cap with a wrench by turning counterclockwise. Remove the strainer cap, the washer, and the screen. Remove the bell housing by rotating counterclockwise. Next, you will remove the spring disc, the spring, and the friction ring. If the valve is installed flowing vertically, the parts may fall out of the bell when it is removed. Remove the stem assembly. You will want to inspect the area in the body where the o-ring moves for pitting or scratches. This area must be smooth for the valve to operate correctly. You can sand the bore with an emery cloth if needed. Next, you will flush out the valve to remove any trapped debris by opening upstream shutoff valve. Clean any remaining debris from the body and wipe clean the stem assembly and the diaphragm areas. Assemble stem unit using new stem, o-ring, diaphragm, diaphragm disc, and diaphragm nut or bolt. Next, using your grease in the repair kit, you can lubricate the o-ring on the stem. Insert the stem assembly into the body. You will center the washer on the plunger, then thread into the stem assembly. Hold the diaphragm against the edge of the body to prevent it from rotating. Tighten the plunger, but do not over tighten as it is possible to break the threaded end of the plunger. The valve is installed flowing horizontally. Set the friction ring, spring, and the spring disc on the diaphragm. If the valve is installed flowing vertically, you will center spring disc on the adjustment bolt in the bell, place the spring on the spring disc, and put the friction ring into the bell opening. Make sure your spring is centered on the diaphragm bolt as you start to thread the bell onto the valve body. You can now tighten the bell onto the body. Go ahead and turn the adjustment bolt clockwise until the bolt is at its original height. Install your new screen and the cap gasket before threading strainer cap back onto the body. Tighten clockwise with a wrench. Install new cap gasket before threading main cap back onto the body. Tighten clockwise with a wrench. Slowly turn on your water supply. Next, close downstream hose bib or faucet after water flow becomes clear and constant. To verify proper operation of the valve, Wilkins recommends setting the outlet pressure with a pressure gauge. If it is necessary, you can adjust your outlet pressure to 50 PSI. The outlet pressure is raised by turning the bolt clockwise into the bell housing. To lower your outlet pressure, you can turn the bolt counterclockwise and then open a faucet to relieve pressure and check the actual setting. You can tighten the lock nut when your desired pressure is set. Now you will want to observe your gauge for a few minutes to make sure pressure is constant, showing cartridge are seated properly, and that there are no internal leaks within the valve.